Hello, this is Kevin Collins with Home Theater Forum at CEDIA 2013. We're here in the Sony booth with Jason, and we're going to talk about 4K technology. Uh, yesterday you talked about some new 4K projectors that you had. Would you kind of walk us through some of the one that you announced? Sure, you bet. So this is the brand new VW, one th or excuse me, VW600ES. So this is the little brother to the 1000ES, the projector that we launched at CES in January 2012. Um, it's uh, basically a smaller form factor and it's designed to be uh, really for the HD customer in the you know $12,000 range uh, projector world to really step them up to true 4k uh, a couple of the great features of this projector are it has the five uh, lens indexing features so the aspect and picture position features so you can change from 16 by 9 2 3 5 so all of that great stuff so if you want to do different screens or what have you with an install really kind of opens uh, this projector up and the customer up to a whole new range of options at a lower price point. Um, it's got the, the ability to interact with our 4K media player uh, so you can actually watch native 4K content on it. Um, and it's uh, honestly a lot more installation friendly. So uh, it's, it's all front ventilated so you can actually push it up right against the wall or something like that. So um, it's really built more for uh, you know, performance at a, at, a, at a more attainable asking price. We have the 1000ES, which is our flagship product uh, built to that spec, but you know, we know there's a lot of customers out there that maybe don't want to spend that kind of money and they want to get 4K, so this is really where we want to point them to. Um, it's going to have some cool features. It's going to be compatible with 4K at 60p, so higher frame rate, so no judder. It's going to look amazing and uh, you know, really be a good upgrade from you know, what's available out there in HD projectors in the price range. Wow, that's that's great. I wish I could get myself a 4K projector. Well, the, the people at Sony don't. Yeah. One of the uh, questions that always comes up, you know, when people are looking at 4K is, well, where do I get the native content? And you, you mentioned the uh, your 4K uh, media player. That's That's been out for a little bit, but could you uh, kind of walk us through some of the features and how that hooks up to, sure. to the... Uh, so, um, probably the biggest difference between how this media player interacts with the TV versus the projector is with our XBR TVs, this player actually integrates into the menu system of the TV, so you would actually go to your streaming features or go to an input on the television, and you'd actually see the 4K media player there, and all the titles would pop up on the screen. Uh, with this player to hook it up to the projector, you're going to have a dedicated output here for video only, and you're going to have a second HDMI output for audio, because obviously the projector doesn't have any speakers on it, and there's no endpoint for audio there. So you're going to hook up one HDMI direct to the projector, you're going to hook the other HDMI out direct to your audio system so you can get that full high-res uh, surround sound, all that good stuff. You have the ability to expand storage here. There's two terabytes built on board, and then you can hang an extra hard drive off the back for to save the movie titles and stuff that you own. And then we have a hardwired internet connection here. The wired internet connection is required for this to work. It's not Wi-Fi. It actually has to be hardwired. Uh, it's really just for you know network stability and when you're doing downloads and stuff like that. You don't want any dropout. You don't want to have any loss there. So a wired connection is the most secure. Well, that's that's why it's set up that way. Well, great. I, you know, obviously, if you're on a projector, it's not like on a, a television monitor where you can have an interface. So I, I see there's uh, it looks like an Android tablet here, exactly. and it has some interesting uh, gr uh, movie titles yeah, that are on there. Exactly. So uh, in the case of the television, I said before. All of this stuff would appear on the screen of the television, but because this isn't set up that way, we actually uh, bundle the tablet with the with the uh, media player so that you can actually browse through the titles, and that's how you would navigate and control uh, how you're going to make your purchases, how you're going to watch your movies, when you're going to play your movies, that good stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and then the benefit also is you get a brand new Tablet Z, which is Sony's award-winning Android tablet. So you're going to be able to take advantage of all the Google Play stores, all the stuff that's available out there in the Android world, uh, you know, built-in IR remote, all that stuff. So I mean, if you're a, if you're a savvy DIY guy and you do this kind of stuff, you could actually make this the remote not only for the the media player, but you could actually set it up to run the rest of your room. Uh, if you're a Crestron guy or a you know Control Four guy, one of these other type of guys, they make uh, Android tablets to uh, Android, excuse me, applications so that you can run Crestron or Control 4 right on the machine. So we're really trying to give the customer a step up and also give our dealers a step up to say, hey, we're, we're giving you a complete solution here. You don't have to be stuck to any one particular brand of external device or tablet to control and interact not only the stuff that we're selling, but the stuff that you may already own or, you know, maybe you've got a $100,000 control system out there. Guess what? We've got an app that you can run on this and interact with that. Great. 
How many movies are available through the media player through Sony that you can buy? I saw Spider-Man 3. Uh, what's the number now, and how, what do you expect by end of the year? So uh, by the end of the year, we should have 100 titles. And uh, right now, I think we're at about 60 or 70 titles between movies and TV shows. Uh, you know, some of the highlights there, you know, we're going to have Breaking Bad in 4K. That's kind of a popular one, as well as, you know, some of the latest Sony Pictures releases. There'll be some free movies that'll be available. And then there's also, you know, some of the classic Sony Pictures. You know, we've gone back and remastered Lawrence of Arabia and Bridge Over the River Kwai. So, you know, Sony is actively trying to preserve that history that, you know, Sony owns and, and you know, keep it for generations to come. So, um, like I said, the, you know, the sky's the limit as far as that goes. But so, so consumers have the option of purchasing or renting? They do. So you can, you can purchase movies and, and own them, or you can rent them for 24 hours. Uh, your TV shows are going to range between probably 3 and $5, uh, $7, something like that, where we top out at, I believe. And then, uh, you know, with movies, if you want to purchase them, you're going to be somewhere between $27 and $35, you know, depending on what, we, what we're going to charge for the movie. And that's, that's not really up to us. It's really, you know, set by the, the, the distributors for the movie. Okay, well, one last question. You know, when I'm here, I see all these grouped together. When you buy this, does it all come as a package, or is there different options? Yeah. So we have two different options for pricing. So the projector by itself would retail for $15,000, or you could bundle it actually with the tablet and the media player together for $16,000. So again, maybe the customer isn't interested in 4K, but they want to take advantage of the 4K, 4K upscaling. Maybe they've got a great Blu-ray collection. They're not ready to make the leap yet into the, the media players, and you know they want to wait for the category to mature a little bit. So get to take advantage of all the great features that the 4K projector can do, or maybe they want to be early adopters and they want to get right on board and they want to get you know in there with both feet and enjoy the 4K experience. And that's that's really what we're here to, to provide for customers is really get them engaged with high-res video, just like we're doing with high-res audio. It's really the, the pillars of where our custom business and our business as a company is headed. Well, thanks, Jason. It's great to meet you guys. This is Kevin Collins with Home Theater Forum at Cedia 2013. We went over the new Sony 4K projector and the 4K player and the tablet remote control for it.